The Winnipeg Blue Bombers will be getting their new stadium at the University of Manitoba. Late this afternoon, Winnipeg City Council approved the plan to build a new facility. Uh, they were the final piece of the puzzle, but as CTV's John Hendricks shows you now, the trip to the goal line was complicated. Here we go. There have been fumbles and stumbles along the way. But finally, the Bombers' stadium deal is now a done deal. Yays 14, nays 2. And with that, the city committed itself to its portion of the $190 million project that will see a new football stadium built at the University of Manitoba. The mayor says it will only cost the city $7.5 million and had to be passed Wednesday to guarantee total costs would not rise any higher. This is a great deal for the city of Winnipeg. It should be passed unanimously. But it wasn't, and the vote didn't even happen in the regular council meeting. Six councillors used a stall tactic to force a later meeting, saying the entire process had been too rushed. I frankly was feeling like I was about to buy a house that was probably a grow-up, but they're telling me, sign the deal, you're going to get a quick deal, but let's not look at the details, just sign it off, you're getting a good deal. If it's a great deal, which I hope it is, you know, let the information uh, become public early on and let people look at it. Thank you for the opportunity to speak here today. The lack of public consultation is just one worry for the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. Colin Craig says the true costs to the city are actually much higher than advertised. If property tax revenue from a redeveloped Canada Insight is being used for a new stadium, who will pay for the city's services at a redeveloped Canada Insight? It will be the city because the province plans to use property taxes from the site to recoup $75 million. The city won't be getting any cash from it anytime soon. John Hendricks, CTV News, Winnipeg. Now, as we showed you yesterday, there were concerns the Winnipeg Blue Bombers won't be able to repay their $85 million portion of the stadium. Today's agreement has a clause saying if they can't, the city won't be on the hook for any of that remaining amount.